Morning everybody, um, it's early here today, I'm sorry if you have noise in the background, it's because it's really bad with weather, um, I thought I'd do a quick review of this um, that I bought yesterday, which is the Windsor and Newton Ink uh, Gold Metallic Bronze or Bronze Metallic, I've, I noticed this on an artist's page um, and he uses it in his black um, drawings um, and it looked really cool uh, and I thought it would look really nice on pictures, you know, uh, for like certain jewellery or um, any, all to do with jewellery really or belts or anything. Um, so I thought I'd buy it and I'd do a quick review of it. This is the 30ml um, box that I got from Amazon which was £6 something. I will pop it in the description uh, link for it. It's a fairly nice sized bottle and look at that, you can even see it. Uh, I've never even used these before uh, or used it. You can tell it's quite watery um, and I've noticed that the artist that uses it only uses a really, really tiny bit anyway on his brush. Um, I will pop his name, uh, oh, uh, Squidoodle. He's on Facebook, he does uh, commissioned artwork, so thanks Steve for that, if you ever see my video. Um, so, uh, let's give it a try. I bought these as well, which is different sized brush tips, so you can get into the bigger, wider, um, you know, strips or the fine line ones, where it's really tiny places that you can't get in. Um, so I'll go ahead and open that. Um, I've drawn a couple of lines here just to, as reference. Um, they're not secured in any way, they just come out. So if I use that one and then use the smaller one so you get an idea of what I'm, what I'm talking about. Um, I don't know if you've got to use water or anything with it, but it looks fairly runny, so I don't think so. Um, so I'll bring it a little bit closer to the, to the lines you are on my tripod, so they just open oh, a bit too. Oh yeah, it's really, really runny. So I'm going to use the big one for the for this bit new brushes so they're not as good as what I expected them to be they're a bit there but they'll do for the job for now so I'm just gonna dip it in I've dipped it in and it's on end up brush um I'm new to this so uh, for big one Oh, I'm guessing you're going to have to this could actually go on top of pencils you might have to get a couple of strokes on the top on top of it it looks like um, it's very watery so maybe let that dry a second <clears throat> and then I'll go to the, the thinner one. So if I just dip it in and then go to the little one, that's not even working. Oh no, not good. Ah, there we go, look. That's how it's supposed to look. Maybe it's too um, too watery, but that's what I'm looking for. That's what's on the on Steve's pictures. But he uses um, like proper watercolor watercolor paper, so maybe that's the reason for that. Um,
but I still like it. <laughs> so you can see the difference. That's that's we're just dipping it inside uh, the pot, and then I've used that, and it's on the rim. So it should look like like this. So I wonder how you get it. You know. I suppose it's just experimenting with it, really. That's going over it again. I'm glad I've tested it out before I've actually done it on proper paper. I wonder if you've got to really, really mix it. <clears throat> I'll get another shake. But you can really see the difference. See if that makes a difference. Oh, maybe I forgot to. Oh, you can get it off the edge. Oh, now we're talking, look. So, yeah, before you start, get a really good shake. Um, and you can get it off the rim of the bottle. All right. Little, little circle. I really like it though. Oh. And for your smaller piece, it's just work, working it and finding out what's best for you, really. Um, but that's the reason why I bought it. So. I don't know if you guys can see. But as I say, it's, it's very, very watery. So it'd be a case of you shaking it up. I'll show you inside. So that's inside. It's like really watery. But once you've sh shaken it, it goes around the rim. Um, so it gives you, it's not as watery, and then it comes out like that one. But if you just do it straight away with water, like dipping it in, it ends up being really runny. So, that's the experiment anyway. So I'll let you have a look a bit closer. So I did the, the dots, the lines. So you can see how really goldy it is. And there we have it. I'm not going to do all that side, but I did the thicker side and then the thinner side and the dots. So, yeah. And that's the Windsor and Newton Gold. I will pop the uh, link in description for you. Um, <clears throat> So that you can find it straight away. All right. Um, if you enjoy watching this, uh, give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Click that notification bell so you get a notification every time I upload any new content. Uh, if you won't mind subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. Um, if there's anything you want me to review or flip, so drop me a comment. I will get back to you as soon as I can. As always, take care, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.